ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாய்ராம் மை ஹம்பிள் சாலிட்டேஷன்ஸ் டு மை பிலவட் பகவான் ரெஸ்பெக்டட் எல்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் மை டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹார்ட்டி வெல்கம் டு த ஸ்பெஷல் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் கிளாஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் தி ஆர்த்தோக்னல் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் ஹெர்மைட் பால்னாமிக்ஸ் Now we are going to show that the orthogonal properties of Hermit polynomials is given by integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus x square hn of x hm of x dx equal to 0 if m is not equal to n and if m equal to n the value is going to be root pi into 2 power n into n factorial. So the product of in two Hermit polynomials multiplied with e power minus x square between the limits minus infinity plus infinity is given by 0 if m and n are not equal and the value becomes equal to root pi into 2 power n into n factorial now using the generating functions we have summation hn of x t power n by n factorial n running from 0 to infinity is nothing but e power 2tx minus t square and consider another hermite polynomial summation hm of x s power m by n factorial m running from 0 to infinity is nothing but e power 2sx minus s square now multiplying corresponding sides we get double summation n running from 0 to infinity m running from 0 to infinity hn of x into hm of x into t power n into s power m divided by n factor into m factor on the right hand side becomes e power 2tx minus t square plus 2sx minus s square now multiplying both sides by e power minus x square and then integrating both sides with respect to x from between the limits minus infinity to plus infinity we are going to get that is double summation integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus x square hn of x into hm of x into dx t power n into s power m by n factor into m factorial that is equal to right hand side becomes integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power 2tx minus 2a square plus 2sx minus s square into e power minus x square dx okay so we got this now this is nothing but the right hand side is nothing but now integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus x square and when you take 2x common that becomes 2x times t plus s minus of t square plus s square dx now adding and subtracting t plus s whole square on the right hand side we get so double summation n running from 0 to infinity and summation m running from 0 to infinity integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus x square hn of x into hm of x dx equal to t power n into s power m divided by n factor into m factor that is nothing but integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus x square and then plus 2x into t plus s minus of t plus s whole square plus t plus s whole square the original term minus of t square plus s square dx now this becomes integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus of x square minus 2x into t plus s plus t plus s whole square considering the first three terms in the first bracket taking minus comma and expanding the last two terms that is t square plus s square plus 2 ts minus t square minus s square so t square and s square get cancel and we are given only with 2 ts so that is nothing but now integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus of because and the first term can be written as difference of two terms whole square what is the first term x minus what is the second term t plus s whole square plus 2 ts now e power 2 t times dx 
e power 2t s is independent of x so e power 2t s comes out integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus of x minus of t plus s whole square ds now put x minus of t plus s is equal to y therefore dx becomes dy so this becomes e power 2 ts minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus y square dy and we know the it is a standard integral integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus y square dy is nothing but root pi so this becomes e power 2 ts root pi so root pi comes out now e power x can be written as a summation of an infinite series so similarly e power 2 ts can be written as summation 2 ts whole power n by n factorial because e power x equal to what summation x power n by n factorial so this becomes 2 power n root pi by n factorial t power n into s power n now we note that the powers of t and s are always equal in each term on the right hand side of y hence hence when n is not equal to m equating the coefficients of t power n into s power m on both sides of 1 we have 1 by m factor into 1 by m factor into integral e minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus x square into hn of x into hm of x dx equal to 0 that is when n is not equal to m. Again, equating the coefficient of t power n and s power n on both sides, we get 1 by n factor, 1 by n factorial, integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus x square, hn of x into hn of x dx, that is equal to 2 power n into root pi by n factor. n factor, n factor get cancelled each other, 1 by n factor into integral minus infinity to plus infinity, e power minus x square into hn of x whole square dx is equal to 2 power n into root pi. So finally we conclude integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus x square into hn of x whole square dx is equal to 2 power n into root pi into n factor. So we know the delta function delta nm equal to 0 if n is not equal to m and that becomes equal to 1 if n equal to m. So, continuing results 2 and 3 with the help of 4, delta function 4, we get integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus x square into hn of x into hm of x dx is equal to 2 power n into n factor into root by into delta n m. I hope this is clear to one and all. Thank you for watching this video.